What's up guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Dan. Today I'm gonna review this little boy right here. This is the um, Yuriyash, come on. Hiseak, I think, or Haisea, I have no idea what that means, <laughs> by the way. SPF 50 plus. This sunscreen is the exact, the exact same as Yuriyash Berry Sun Matte Fluid. I think I reviewed that a month ago. Um, and I think I was mentioning in that video that I feel like both of these sun, I, by the way, I cannot find it. I have no idea where it is because I've been looking for it everywhere. I cannot find that <laughs> sunscreen. I guess that's how, what happens when you have a lot of skincare. But I was mentioning in that video that they are, they feel pretty much the same. I was trying to find some differences between them and I was not really able to. Now today, actually, I actually checked both ingredient lists for these sunscreens and they are the exact same. There's not a single difference. The same ingredients, same order. Basically, they're just the same sunscreen, just packaged in, in two different packages and marketed differently, but they're the exact same sunscreen. So before I start the review, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more reviews regarding skincare, um, ring that bell so you get notified every time I post something, and uh, check me out on Patreon to support the channel so I can buy more skincare and review it for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna start as always with the packaging. I love this kind of packaging. It's a squeeze tube. It's very easy to open, apply the sunscreen. Uh, the price for this one, I think it's around $10, $10, dollars maybe, which is a very good price. You get 50 ml, which is like normal, it's the, the standard. Um, when it comes to irritant ingredients, there's fragrance in this one, which is kind of like a nice fragrance, I don't mind it. It's not super strong. Uh, it dissipates after a while, but uh, it kind of like takes a while in my opinion. Uh, this one is fragrance free, it is fungal acne safe. We love that on this channel. Um, now, when it comes to my experience with the product, the ingredient is, I guess you can just check the previous review for, for that sunscreen. Um, it is a nice sunscreen, uh, let me actually talk about the fillers, uh, the sunscreen fillers, uh, filters, oh my god. <laughs> you guys, I'm trying to take a break from coffee and um, I think it shows. So um, we have um, Tina Sorb M in this one, which is kind of like a hybrid filter. It's a very good one. It's a new generation filter, covers UVA, UVB, the broad, broad spectrum. Um, it does tend to leave a slight white cast. It's not as dramatic as zinc oxide, as a zinc oxide containing sunscreen, but um, some Tina Sorb M sunscreens, containing sunscreens, they really have a white cast. They're using nano sized, Tina Sorbem M on this one, which makes it less noticeable, the white cast, but it is slightly there. Um, then we have, uh, I think, Able Benzone, a good UVA filter. It is stabilized in this one with the help of Tina Sorb M. And we have um, uh, Uvenol T150, which is a nice, a very good, actually, UVB filter. It's a new generation filter. Basically, um, mostly new generation filters, so it's not gonna irritate your skin. It, there's a lower chance of irritation with all these new filters. But if you know you're allergic to avobenzone, then you should definitely skip this one because it is in there. Um, yeah, this one offers SPF 50 plus. We don't know the UVA protection, but according to European regulations, it should be uh, 20 or higher, which is a very good UVA protection actually. I'm gonna apply it now so you guys can see how it looks like on my skin. Um, I'm not sure if that's enough. It is very fluid. Um, it doesn't have a thick consistency. But let me apply actually a little bit more because I'm gonna use both my hands to um, rub it in. So uh, I need to apply a little bit more to show you guys the real white cast. But yeah, it spreads really nicely. Um, if you have uh, dry patches, it might cling to those, which is not ideal. But um, I don't really have a problem blending it in my beard area, in my um, eyebrows. It's pretty easy to blend. Um, the only... Uh, the only kind of downside of this one is that um, 
might go patchy a little bit, especially if your skin is uh, not in a good condition. When I have dry patches, it just goes patchy and you have to look into a mirror and make sure it's blended in everywhere. Yeah, it is a little bit noticeable in the beard area, I think. Actually, not really. I don't know. It's I, I don't have a long beard, so I cannot really comment on that. But it blends really nicely in the eyebrows. I cannot see it at all. Um, as you guys can see, it does have kind of like a natural finish. They say in the package it's supposed to be matte, but it is not. It's not matte, definitely. Um, and in my experience, I don't think I've ever found an actual matte sunscreen. Besides the Purita Contour Water, which is discontinued because it didn't offer the protection it's supposed to offer. Um, but it is more uh, one of the least shiny sunscreens I have. And if I apply powder, this one keeps me matte longer than, than usual. Than, so in that sense, I guess it keeps you kind of matte, which is nice. Um, I like that it disguises my pores a little bit. It makes my blackheads less, less noticeable. It just makes your skin look, look nice, as you can see. It's been like five minutes and I, I can still see it a little bit in my beard area. It's nothing major. I don't think anybody else is gonna notice, but um, yeah. Um, as you guys can see, the white cast is not bad at all on me. It's almost not noticeable actually, uh, but I still do think uh, people with dark skin tones are not gonna like this one. It, it is probably gonna be visible. Um, it is gonna work for a lot of people though, even people with darker skin tone than me. But yeah, that's my review guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, overall, it is a really nice sunscreen in my opinion. It's not like holy grail status because it um, has his little flaws here and there, has that fragrance that some people might not like, uh, a little bit of a white cast. Uh, you have to work a little bit on your skin, It's uh, it might go patchy and stuff like that. But it's just so hard to find for like safe sunscreens that we're willing to, to accept those little flaws, just not to get more breakouts. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this one, if you've ever tried it or not. Let me know some other sunscreens that I should check, some other products. Leave a comment down below, it helps with the algorithm and to exposing this video to as many people as possible. I love you all guys and see you all in my next video. Bye.